This is an ABC News special report. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm Diane Sawyer here at ABC News headquarters in New York, and we do have the breaking news of a shooting at an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut. And you heard that right. It is unthinkable. An elementary school 45 miles southwest of Hartford. We know at least three victims are in the hospital at this hour in very serious condition. We know there was at least one gunman now confirmed dead. The school is still on lockdown. SWAT teams have been on the scene. We have seen the images of the terrified children being whisked out of the school, led by their teachers, and taken to a fire station nearby. And just moments ago, I spoke to the mother of a seven-year-old boy. In that fire station, there were two kinds of parents, those who received the joyful news of relief and those who are still in doubt about their children. She got the good news that her seven-year-old son was all right. Here's what she had to say. Did they give you any sense when you got there, when you got to, to the fire department area, what had happened? What did they tell you? No, nobody is giving us, no, no officials are giving us any information. There's a parent I know who happened to be in the building at the time, um, and she's pretty broken up. Um, she was in a meeting uh, with the principal uh, and some other people, and they heard shooting. They got up, they went out. And she had stayed in the, the conference room, and uh, my understanding from her is the principal and other people got shot when they went out into the hallway, and she was the one who called 911. So you talked to the person who called 911? Yes, and uh, she said that there was hundreds of shots, it sounded like. Hundreds of shots? That's what she said. And were there families there who don't know where their children yes. are? Yes, there are still families here who do not know where their children are. And were they giving them any information at all? Are there still There's children? no information for those parents. Uh, they have the kids who were evacuated into the fire department um, uh, house. Um, they asked, as they've been taking attendance, they've been checking kids out to their parents. So some parents have secured their children and left with them, but there are still parents here who do not have their children and have no idea and they're not being told anything. What was your thought when you got this call? It is unimaginable. What was what, what was your thought? I just, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, this is such a, uh, we just moved here a year and a half ago from, uh, from Providence, living in an urban area. We, you know, thought we were coming to a much safer, secure place. Never would have thought anything like this would happen here. Um, and it, it's just, it's a large town, but it's got a real small town family feel. And this is just un, unimaginable and just I'm very scared, worried about my son, worried about the other kids that I know here. Um, and, and still just really in, in shock. What is it you're going to say to your son about this? Do you, have you thought about that yet? I have not. I have not thought about that yet. Yeah, and I, I mean, my daughter is in preschool down the street. I know her preschool is in lockdown. And my, uh, I have an older son who's, who's at the intermediate school for fifth and sixth graders, and they're in lockdown. I don't know what's happening there. Well, again, I thank you so much for phoning in and everything that you've told us. Thank heaven your children are all right, and we send you, we just send you love and all of our thoughts for these days ahead. Thank you. Thank you. And again, we want to stress there's so much that's still unconfirmed. This is still a moving situation with breaking news. But let's check in with our Justice Department correspondent, Pierre Thomas. He has been talking to all of his sources there. Pierre, what are they saying? Diane, the FBI and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms uh, have sent personnel to the scene. They describe it as a very active scene. Uh, one senior official told me that the shooter uh, is dead, uh, that Two uh, firearms have been recovered. Uh, again, a large number of federal authorities are coming to the scene, which suggests that you know there is uh, a lot to investigate. Um, and they're being very careful about talking about victims. The one official I spoke to said that he had been told of at least two children who had been injured in some fashion. Again, they're trying to get additional information from the local authorities who are the lead at the moment uh, before they start giving out specifics on those injured. Uh,